Hey everyone, so I have here on me a Blackview BV7000. If you've never heard of Blackview, well, that's the one of the dozens and dozens of Chinese phone companies. So this phone, the Blackview BV7000 and the Blackview BV8000, they're both, as you can see, built like tanks. That's because Blackview specializes in making phones that are highly, highly durable. These phones are IP68 water resistant and they run Android 7.0 and they're quite smooth. So I've been using the BV8000 and performance is quite good. This one has 6 gigs of RAM. The screen is a 1080p um, 4HD panel, 5.5 inch I believe. I was running Mortal Kombat on it just now and it ran fine without problems. It has a MediaTek chip, so you know. So it's not the most powerful chip, but it's good enough. Oh, this is gross. So anyway, but you know, you're not gonna be buying Blackview phones for its performance. You're obviously buying for because the phone is so rugged. So I, I thought, why not give it a test? I already did a video earlier showing both phones underwater that you can use them underwater you can take videos with it you can you can record videos with it because um they have a dedicated camera shutter button which sorry let me get this in focus yeah dedicated camera shutter button so that when you're underwater you can take photos because when you put a phone underwater the touch screen ceases to work so i'm gonna just test out how sturdy the smartphone is by doing by just dropping it and just stepping on it and doing all types of shit. I'm gonna do it to the older 7000 first because I still I'm still testing the 8000. I don't want to break that yet. So let's just see how much this can take. So this phone works just fine too, as you can see. But so I'm just gonna do a lot of drop tests. So this is a really rugged, sturdy phone, obviously, but you're not going to to just crack the screen or or like have the phone be broken just just because you dropped it once. So for people with butterfingers, this might be worth considering. Cons um, because these phones, these phones are really cheap. I think this one, the eight thousand, sells for like three hundred US. This one sells for like a hundred, a hundred twenty bucks for now. So it's really cheap. As you can see I'm tossing it all over, no damage at all. I mean look at the bumper, it's it's really thick. This is not this is not a phone that you can damage just from casual drops. So I'll be dropping it from higher and higher spots. Let's drop it. So I'm about 5'10. So I'm gonna drop it from a little bit above my head right now. So I'll just drop that straight onto the floor. The screen still works. A couple more. Still works. Okay, let's take this outside. Uh, you know what? Before I take it outside, let's just... I'm going to dump it in the water one more time. Just to show that the phone works fine. The touchscreen doesn't work when you're underwater, but... But once you take it out after it dries a little bit, it should work. The camera still works. Give me a second. Okay, apologies. So earlier I wasn't taking photos because I set, I set the phone to, to use SD card. But now I've set it back to normal storage. So as you can see the photo... The camera works. I'm gonna put it on the water. Let's so you can take photos on the water. I'm dipping this in water. You can still play videos on this fine. You can still get on the web. Alright, so it's loading. Alright, so let's take it outside to, for more drops. 
Okay, so now I'm here on the hallway. You can see, so the floor here is pretty hard. If you see my other video off of the um, Galaxy SA drop test, this is where the phone cracked. So I'm gonna drop it from my, the height of my head. Still no damage. Still no damage. Still no damage at all. Still nothing. Let's go outside to the street. Alright man, before I take out the street, let's do it. Just tumble down the stairs. So, just like bro, man, I live on the fifth floor. So. Still no damage, like not even a scratch. You see that a little bit? That's a plastic film protector. Let me actually, let me rip this off. Give me a second. Yeah, sorry about that. There was actually a plastic film protector on it. So I would, I just ripped it off, so now there's nothing on it. The screen has no damage, so. Still no damage. Let's record a video of it during dropping. All right, man, recording video. Still recording. Still no damage. Okay, now let's take it down to the streets for real. Okay, so now I'm out on the street so you can get a better look at the phone in sunlight. It still looks mostly flawless. Like you see a little bit of scruff around the plastic. But this is after how many times I've dropped the phone already. Like, like I threw it downstairs. Let me get this to focus, sorry. Man, focus on this is trash. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna try a couple more drops. So nothing. I'm gonna drop it from the height on my head. So as you can see, I'm, I'm holding it above my head. I'm 5'10". Okay. Still nothing, not much. Yeah, a little bit of uh, damage right here in the corner. The phone camera still works, I believe. Okay, a couple more. Let's just keep dropping until it breaks. Oh, okay, it finally broke, it finally broke. So, as you can see, it finally shattered. But that took a lot of drops. The corner here, it's scuffed up from the floor from dropping down the stairs. It still works, you can still use the phone. Let's drop it one more time. From above my head again. So way above. So this is at least like six, six two, six three. Okay, so the screen cracked a little bit more, but um, everything the back is still very sturdy. No damage because of the rubber. So yeah, this is it, the Black View phone. So if you if you always drop your phone, 
and then you don't want to keep having to get your phone fixed or buy a new one you might you might want to consider the black view because how many times did i dropped the phone like like 15 before it broke so let me bring it back indoors okay back indoors so the screen shattered pretty badly but it still works So I'm assuming the B, the BV8000 will be just as durable, maybe even more considering this is a new, uh, like an update upgrade on this phone. So yeah, I mean this video is like 10 minutes long, me just slamming onto the ground. Uh, Blackview phones, you guys are pretty durable.